have greetings from Kim, our SCF from the last expedition. Hello, Kim. I got to meet her the day I arrived. She has a question for the front row. Ooh. She wants to know, how has it been adjusting to new people on the watch? Some of you have been here, and some of us have just shown up. We're the new people in the core of exploration. I'm just going to suggest you answer carefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, this uh, group is demonstrably worse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I'm trying to keep the hype train up, Kim. I know she left me with that duty. Um, no, it's been good. This is, we, we, we lucked out again with another great watch. Yeah. And Jess, can we get your assessment on that? Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> definitely. No, I mean, yeah, we have, we had, yeah, the best of luck with uh, two good watches, yeah, for the past leg and this leg as well. Um, yeah, and I'm I didn't I get I didn't get a memo about this hype train thing, but uh, uh, Kim told me I, uh, she was leaving, so I have to keep the hype going. Which everyone who knows me knows I'm well, very we, excitable. Not <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people know we call Rennie Mr. Hype. Mr. Hype, that was yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's always it's always. Um, Interesting. Whenever we do the wasp changeovers, you know, you get uh, new individuals and new stories, and uh, and the good thing is that we have ways to keep in contact with everyone, so that we can always uh, also rekindle those old watches and all. Now, do the three of you maintain a team? We yep, we kept for this this yeah. one. Not always, but for this stretch, we have been. And Steve um, doesn't seem to want to leave our watch. Keep chiming in back there. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a, cool That's a oh. gorgeous one. Wow. wow. Is this another foray of some kind? Go ahead and push on him partial there, please. This is the same as the Chihuly sponge we saw earlier. Yeah. Awesome. So intricate. Yeah. Look at all those so pores. I'm always wondering what three dimensional sculpture medium would be best to represent. <laughs> Certain sponges that are more vase-like, I think you could do ceramics, but... This is glass, I think. Is yeah, complex and delicate. And like Reminds you said, me. Chihuly, yeah. I think frosting would be <laughs> a good medium for this. Frosting? Yeah, edible. Frosting. Nice. Yeah. Okay. like it. I wonder if uh, people have examined the, the structures and the, the kind of like... A frosting or a of a frosting mm -hmm. first first and foremost, but also of sponges. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like if we found one of these and did some like pirouettes around it, we could do some structure for motion and make kind of a three D model of the sponge surface. Most certainly, yeah. Yeah, we did that in um NA one oh one with in Papahanao Mokuakea, the round one. Um Chris Krasnowski was on board and was doing a bit of that. Uh, we just would pirouette and just use the main HD, I th think. I don't, I don't know if we had a digital stills cam at the time. And no, we didn't. And um, yeah, created some models. I think one was of an ET sponge, mm -hmm. if I'm remembering right. Comes out quite good. I mentioned the more complex it is, the more Go difficult. Away, please, Dave. And shadowing can be difficult with that. I know when you're doing it on land, typically, if you're doing photogrammetry, say from air, you would want to do it within a 20-minute period. So you kind of want, yeah, if, if the sun's out, you would want a short amount of time so shadows kind of match up. Or you'd use a diffuse light. But down here, we don't have that necessarily. So kind of maps a bit different. We have a shout out to our video team. One of our viewers says that's the best Chanakops video I think I've seen. Nice. The expeditions in nice. Hawaii so far. Amazing. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> Missed the highlight reel though. I have to tack that one on the end. <laughs> yeah.
One of our viewers had an interesting question, and it was specifically geared toward coral and sponge researchers, but Megan is not here in the control van. I think probably um, Adam could answer this just as a scientist. Were there any problems getting specimens during COVID lockdown? Uh, yeah, certainly. I mean, the, the opportunities to go to sea and collect samples were greatly diminished. Uh, but one of the things that I and I, I think many others did was start to work through the backlog of samples that uh, that accumulate. You know, when we're out on an expedition like this, whether it's samples or sensor data, you know, it's it's enough to keep a, a science team going for, for a pretty long time. And uh, so I think there's a huge amount of available data and samples uh, to work on. I think a lot of people pivoted to using the, the archives where all our samples will go, all our data will go um, to you know keep their research programs going. Yeah, we were so busy at the beginning of our watch with that uh, coral guard. We never got around to introductions. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll hop in. So I'm Adam Sewell. I'm a, a professor at University of Rhode Island and director of the Ocean Exploration Cooperative Institute, uh, which is a sponsor for this, uh, this expedition. Uh, my research, I'm a marine geologist, with, and my research focuses on submarine uh, volcanism. I grew up in the state of Washington and have uh, live on Cape Cod, and uh, that's that's me. Sarah. Uh, Sarah Bremer. I'm also a geologist, and I am sitting in the data logger chair for this watch. Mr. Hype. Uh, my name is <laughs> Renato Hype. Um, I <laughs> in the navigation and mapping team here <laughs> on EV Nautilus. And the hype train coordinator. Hype train coordinator. Hype train. <laughs> this train must be on schedule. Uh, <laughs> um, my name's Jess Andival. I'm sitting in the Herc seat. And um, yeah, that's, that's me from California. California. I don't know why I'm mentioning that twice in a row now. I'll stop after this one, guys. <laughs> All right, Jake, go ahead. <laughs> uh, Jake Bonney. I'm in the Argus seat. And um, a student at the University of Rhode Island. And uh, from the East Coast as well, from Rhode Island. Dave Robertson, uh, lead video engineer on uh, this expedition. And uh, sitting in the video chair making pictures as good as I can. Uh, I'm also from uh, Western Washington. I grew up in Seattle, and uh, but spent most of my career in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh, I didn't know that. Ah, there you go. 
from Wilmington, Delaware. Forgot to say that. It's where uh, Wilmington is where the hype train departs from, I believe. Yeah, it's an Amtrak. <laughs> 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 Everyone on the front row. Uh, I'm gonna, Jess. I'm gonna go two eight five for the next move because Argus is laying a bit more south than I expected. Okay, sure thing. Jess, are you noticing any more current up at these depths than last night? Um, sorry, I was losing in on a separate conversation. Um, no, actually, there's not a lot of current here, which is nice and a little bit surprising. You know, especially as you go along ridges, you either get a lot of current, little current, or somewhere in between. So it's pretty nice. I do find it very fun, though, that when there is a lot of current, if you want to show how much current there is, you just let go of the sticks and then see which way you drift and how fast. Um, it's like a form of subsea paragliding, sailing, is that the, is that the right one, right? Yeah. I'd like to remind our viewers that if you have any questions for us, pop those into our chat. One of our viewers says, I don't think that Amtrak and Hype work well together. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't been to Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were asked, are these the manganese nodules we're seeing? Yeah, what we're seeing is manganese encrusting rock that was already there. Uh, manganese nodules are made of the same material, but they form on uh, kind of particles within the sediment. And as they grow, they make kind of, uh, you know, softball sized. Like they can get that large uh, uh, kind of spheres of, of manganese. Those are what are called nodules, and these are called... Uh, manganese crusts but as we go along we'll see uh, pockets of sediment that have the kind of very small nodules on them But what we're looking at now is probably a, a slope of uh, kind of volcanic sediment or ta talus or breccia that's now been so encrusted that it's essentially a solid mass. Hmm. Was it near Waypoint 8 that they, uh, they were interested in a rock? Yeah. You're interested in rock. Yeah, so when we get kind of parallel or north of waypoint eight, we can sure. we grab one. Two eight eight. This is a nice swimmer. What we got here. 
Oh, what is that? Gotta do a zoom on this guy, Dave. Very, very needle nosy. Yeah. Mm. Just like feather. <laughs> yeah. What so are you? Someone lost their quill. <laughs> Any more zoom on there, Dave? Awesome. It's going to bump down then. Go ahead and come a little wide, please. That's good. A snipe eel. Snipe <laughs> eel. Maybe. On the chat. Interesting. I enjoy that name. Good and fishing on the head there. Good. Weird. Nice. Wow. Nice shot there. I think we ought to, if we listen for the snipe sound. <laughs> it's good to know that snipe hunting is still alive and well in the deep sea. <laughs> Very interesting face. Yeah. All right, we'll let it go then. Oh, there's the... It was rotating for us. Yeah. Hello. Very oh. cool. Pull wide, please. His body's doing like a corkscrew shape. That's yeah. cool. Hey, Dave, are, are the lasers off? Or is that Jake? That's uh, Jess. Oh, yeah, thanks. Front row, one of our viewers would like to know how much the ROVs weigh. How much they weigh? Mm -hmm. About 5,000 pounds piece. Yeah, I think Hercules is a little more heavy, a little heavier than Argus. I only know that because we can't, because of when we have to move it around on shore, Argus we can lift up with a forklift, and Hercules we have to pull around in a little cart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think Argus is three thousand pounds, and Herc five thousand. Yeah. Adam, it looks like Megan is weighing in on the eel. Science chat. Oh. Megan believed that eel was a Venefica tentaculata, a sorceress eel. It was oh. very sorceressy. <laughs> Sorceress eel. This it's, one. Was that the wand? Yeah. I'm hoping for another hole on the other side to get a nice, like, s screaming face here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at that angle. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Well, we could only be so lucky. I don't think so. I don't nope. think it's. You want to come up on the delta there, Jake? One eyed screamer. One eyed yeah. screamer. It would also be a rock band name. 
Go ahead and pull wide, please. Yeah, I'll just get a little bit along. Oh, of course, look at that. Great. Whole row. Yeah. Yeah. We're wading through a forest here. Yeah. So is that two different corals or one tall stalk with a. Looks like one very unhappy coral. Yeah. Yeah. One that's been wow. eaten away. Let's take a sneak peek over here. Wow. These are giant. Very cool. Are the lasers in there somewhere? Oh, yeah. No, the lasers are off for that sponge shot, I think. Oh, okay. All right, I'll get ahead. Really big. <laughs> like we're driving in yeah, the we're in the hallway. highway traffic. Yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. You see a, a bunch of the hold fast with nothing above them. Mm. Mm hmm. What's this, uh, these fractures here? These are different. It's like a cross fracture. Yeah, these look more yeah. like broken sheep balls. I kind of see it. Like a node of it. As we go up this slope, we kind of go up some steps into then to more f flatter areas like this. Mm. Say that we're looking more at the top of a lava flow here, whereas before we were looking at the uh, uh, mass wasted edges of flows. Our viewers is asking if the argon dating that someone mentioned earlier is being done to almost all of the rocks we've been collecting. Uh, probably not. It's a pretty uh, involved process. So uh, a subset of the <laughs> rocks, Kevin Conrad, who's, who's one of the scientists who is interested in that, said all the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> so by good ones, he likely means ones that are the least uh, altered. Hey, can Jess, can you use... Yeah, I was just going to ask. You. On, the, on that sediment there? On the yeah. nodules and then the black sediment in the back. Yeah, sure thing. Thank you. Sorry to cut you off. Right, so rocks that are, are uh, unaltered or as fresh as possible are the ones that we'll target for, for age dating. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there.
looks like the same as last as the stuff we collected last expedition. Hmm. So what was in the stuff you collected last time? Um, there are there are little shells, or broken shells. Um, mm -hmm. not sure if they are some kind they of come a little barnacle like or um mollusk or something. Mm -hmm. Did you also want to look at the nodules? I think, yeah, if you could get a similar close shot on the nodules. Put them push on in. These are like really densely packed. Mm -hmm. Normally we see more sediment with them. Thanks, Jess. That's good. Sure thing. Full wide, please. Our viewer says, thank you so much for allowing the general public to tag along on this voyage voyage of exploration dis and discovery. Truly incredible. I'm right there with you. So we're coming to a slowly a, a stopping point here, and I'm seeing some grabbable rocks. Yeah, that's a... Perfect combination here. Is Argus still on the move? Uh, should be slowing soon, but yes. Okay. It is. But we're much shallower now. About half as deep as we were when we started, so I don't think it's... Uh, it's much more responsive now. All right, Jess, mm -hmm. so if you want to get up a little bit ahead, then uh, we can try and find a spot with no corals to sit down and pick up one of these cobbles. Yeah, roger that. Are we uh, shallow enough for that? Yeah, that's a rough, rough estimate. Oh, flip-flop. A flip-flop. <laughs> no. A chunkla fish. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Really? Chunkla clops. <laughs> chunkla <laughs> chunkla flops. I was wondering where my other flip flop went. Yeah. <laughs> How dare you throw it overboard? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and fish out of there if it pays. Ashley, our data logger, forgot her flip flops. Oh, there we go. Well, there so it is. We, if we oh. retrieved it, we just need to find another one for her. It's odd. It looks new. Ish, yeah. but still has sediment. Yeah, maybe it'll become a manganese nodule one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. What was the piece of the the oh, rostrum right. of the whale that was co coated in manganese crust? Oh yeah, the beaked whale. Yeah. Full wide, please. Chunkla clops. <laughs> Feeling good about that one. <laughs> that was a very good one. I have a Requ coral re question. If required someone, footwear on the hype train. If someone wants <laughs> to try this one, a viewer <laughs> says, how could corals with calcium carbonate skeletal components thrive so well at these depths without dissolving away? Well, they're kind of constantly excreting calcium carbonate for for their skeleton but uh, the the deep corals often have it, uh, this protein structure as well that uh, it helps them survive here but for the ones with calcium carbonate yeah they have to keep keep secreting it in order to maintain that skeleton a lot of them are aragonitic too. Which oh, helps. that's right. Which they is yeah, less slower. soluble in, mm -hmm. in seawater. We have greetings from the Seattle Aquarium. Thanks for watching.
Let us know if you see anything that's looking particularly uh, alluring to collect. I think just when we find a good spot to sit down, because um, we got to do a rock and a niskin, same location. Sure thing. There's a little clearing here. Roger. Yeah, we can probably tuck ourselves in between these corals here, if you guys want. Yep. All right, Jake. All right. Can I get the arm out there? So I'm looking at, oops, this one. Looking at that one there? Mm-hmm. Right here. Do you want to zoom on it before we touch it? A little bit. Go ahead and zoom in on that rock there, Dave. Actually, any of that group of uh, four that are, you know, over here. Those are sort of fairly large. It's yeah. Okay. You want the bigger ones? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> 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 I see how this watch is going to go. All right. Um, that's as far to the right as I got there for you, so maybe the one below the slurp. You can come a little wide there, please, Dave. All right, Jake, all you. All right. Just confirming in this one? Yeah, that one there. All right. That is correct. I don't think this guy will fit into the smaller compartments. No, I don't think so. E is wide open. Um, looks like we have one in F, but there's no size description, so I don't know. You want to go ahead and push on in there a bit, please, Dave? That's great. Sorry, Jake, didn't realize we were going to go for the one right below the bumper. <laughs> we might be peeling up the vehicle with it. Yeah. How about this? I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm getting some resistance there. Okay, all you. Nice. Actually, I think that would fit in one of the smaller. Yeah, I think you're right. Like we already centimeters. have something in every one of them. Okay. Um, so why don't we go ahead and put it in E for now? All right. Let's maybe get out of the dirt there and then take a right. quick zoom on it. Nice view. Yeah. Go ahead and push on in. Awesome. All right, great. Full wide, please. Cool. All the way around on bubble here. Whoop, went too far. Uh -huh. Nice. Yeah, go ahead and tuck it up into the pit and shoulder all the way around. Yep. 
And is there anything floaty in starboard bio that we need to know about? No, all rocks. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, let me switch over salvos. That's not really what you want. You want to shoulder a little bit out, and then um, I'll open up the box for you. Nice. All right, and you go ahead and wrist over. Yep. Now this is going to be zero one three. Zero one three. Yep. Roger. All right, and then shoulder outboard. And which one we going into, E or F? Uh, if it fits in F, we can put it in F. Um, oh, it'll totally fit. E is empty. But there's like a rock in F. There's a, another rock in Looks like there's F. a rock in E, and there's nothing in F. Let's put oh. it where there's no rock. Okay. I'll okay, so F. Go ahead and rest all the way up there, Jake. And Yeah, shoulder up, I mean. Nice. Maybe rotate your jaws. Yeah, nice. Send it. Nice. So in that uh, starboard box is there, what's occupied and what's unoccupied? In the sides? Uh, the starboard box. So now we have one rock in every single box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the starboard bio cam there. Yeah. So you, did somebody label that 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 prior rock was in F and yes. Okay. All right. You want to keep the arm out? We're gonna take a nice. This one looks a bit too. smaller and rounded than the other one, so it should be easy yeah, to tell. Yeah, it's hard apart. when it's hard. I, I hesitate to put it in with the other one just because um, I don't know what it looks like. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. But we'll have to remember that when we come up. Which one was which? All right, and which new skin are we going to go for? We have either five or one open. Roger. Let me just make sure I'm full rack back here. So green or red? Pick your poison. Green or red? Red's at the top. Yeah. I'll go for green. Going for the challenge. Go for the challenge one. That's five. Is that correct? Yeah. Nearest to us. I looked on the white one. It's okay, the white one won't fire again. Nice, nice. Good job. Almost there. Yeah, you got it that way. There you yeah, go. Yeah, that rocks. Ready, right. set, and fired. There it is. Bottle five. And Jess, before we start moving, there's a couple requests for zooms and stuff in this area yeah sure thing the uh red coral that's off to the, the right. right okay and also polykeep but i don't know where that was uh polykeep sorry yeah polykeep okay where do you guys see this polykeep i i don't see it that was someone on the it was sitting down on the one of the rocks nice job. 
um, near the porch previously. I, added, I was not paying attention to see if it swam away. Um, yeah. But Connor's writing in now to tell us, I think. Okay, yeah, because we'll probably get up and look for the red one otherwise. So we'll look for the polychaete first. Um, you want to do a partial there, Dave, and see if we see any polychaete-like things? That's good. It was closer to the porch last I saw it. Closer to the porch? No, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. Uh, Connor says, look left of the, de the fallen coral. Oh, there's fallen. Okay, there's the fallen. It was like one. a white, kind of translucent, um, smaller one. So it's going to be hard to spot. There's is the it? fallen one is up there. Yeah. Can you push in a little bit on that area? Yeah, go ahead and push on in there, but Dave. Don't see any polychaetes. I don't see any polychaetes, yeah. We're full left here. Isn't that too? It's on the rocks fallen? to the right of the fallen coral, but don't spend too much time, really. Is it center screen now? Mm, that looks like a sponge. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, that's, that's an encrusting it. sponge, yeah. I think it's up further towards that dead. Go ahead and push on in there a bit, please. Is it that little. spot? <clears throat> Doesn't look mm -hmm. like a polychaete to me. Yeah. All right, let's bail on the polychaete and get the right, red coral. Yeah, red. Reg. All right, so we'll look at the coral and then we'll get boogieing, yeah? RV pilots. One of our viewers wants to know if any of you are really good at the arcade claw game. Do you bring home the big prizes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that game's rigged. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that game is uh, engineered for you to not win <laughs> very often. <laughs> But bottle toss, that's where it's at. <laughs> Ring toss on the bottles. <laughs> bottle toss, yeah. All right, Dave, go ahead and push on in there, please. Bubblegum coral. Yeah. Closed polyps. Got any more zoom on that guy? I'll square up on the brittle star there. Is it possible to kind of pan down to the base and do like a slow pan up the, the coral? Um, we can pan down for sure. It won't be a, it'll be very jittery because there's the hydraulics of this you guy. You want to try with the page? It might be easier with the... Yeah, you can try it. Go ahead and try it out. Nope, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very spicy, this, this pan and tilt on the HD cam, so it won't be a very elegant. We can fly it, um, but we can do that when we leave. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, that's fine. And Rennie, how's the, what's the still cam seeing? Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's quite above, above yeah, it yeah. in the okay. brow. All right, just whenever you're ready, if you want to do a, a like a slow pan up, that would. Be All cool. right, we'll give it our. I'll give him my Girl Scouts honor. All 
may not be very slow. Else on the rocks. Adam, that was not the best. <laughs> <laughs> I was better than I could do, that's for sure. Oh, love it. All right, full wide, please. That was definitely a, a three out of ten. <laughs> yeah, not very good focus tracking on my part either. I'll get you guys some nice coral shots. Just not that one, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> All right, which way are we going to be heading? So here? word on the street from Megan was that it's a very nice paragorgia with a snake star. D7 by Raj. Bridge now. One hundred meters bearing two seven five. Thank you. Hey. We have another ROV question. This is a good time. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, there, t they said uh, earlier you discussed not being able to stop in time when someone asks about a rock. What are the forward and reverse thrusters? Are they the same side? Do they rotate? Yeah, so um, when we mentioned that we're when we can't stop in time, it's really a function of the layback of the cable. And so we're kind of moving Argus through the water based on a ship move. Um, and so when we have maybe 3,000 meters of cable out, it's a lot harder to stop um, on a dime. So we have to worry about uh, there's going to be some dialed in swing for for Argus, um, and that will make it a lot harder for us to stop. So Hercules can move around with its thrusters, no problem, but um, it's really because Argus and Hercules are tethered together that we don't want to, um, if we want to stop, we have to be mindful that wherever Argus goes, Hercules will eventually have to go as well. Dave, you want to do one more partial on this guy, please? Uh, some redemption for that coral. <laughs> I'm interested to know if there are barnacles on the rocks here, or if it's just sediment, if we have time. Yeah, sure. All right, full wide there, please. Oh. Just the little specks, is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Let's take a look. Viewer wants to know. Have any new species been discovered since Hercules was submerged? On this dive? They didn't specify. There's a Probably chitin. Yeah, go ahead and push on in there a bit. Just a little more generally. I can't tell if that, that oh, that's a chitin speck right thing is. Chitin and then the little specks yeah. there. I'm gonna push in on the speck a little. Those do look like barnacles something or are they gastropods oh well, maybe yeah, hard to tell there's like little there's a larger white one up top almost center left mm -hmm. of center uh, that it's one looks like a little looks like a little starfish star some kind yeah yeah all right all right starting to Full move on please. argus yeah Two seven five. Yep, two seven five heading. So 
So that'll be uh, there, roughly. Red. We had a quick SCF change. This is Kelly. I'm hopping in for Lisa for 30 minutes while she conducts an interaction to her home high school. Hello, Kelly. Hey. Welcome to the watch. <laughs> Trying to get on everyone today. I did the morning one. Now I'm on this one. Oh, oh. now we don't feel so special. Don't tell us. <laughs> yeah. I'll do this one more. I'll just. <laughs> yeah. You have a ticket for the hype trade? Yeah. <laughs> They're available for purchase. <laughs> Conductor Amtrak. ready. Amtrak, Wilmington. <laughs> the little star we saw earlier was uh, Astro Fiora, according to Megan. Astro Eura? Fiora. Fiora. It's a tiny little thing. Or it could be Astrop Eora. Now I'm a little gun shy on my pronunciation. Mm. <laughs> this ridge thing kind of is matching up with our bathy a bit. We're kind of on the north side of it now, uh -huh. seems like. We'll head up to this. Uh, plateau here, so clearing, and then it'll be upslope to waypoint nine. Roger. Adam, what's the depth that we're going to uh, at the like end of the dive? The, like, oh. Yeah, the top of the seamount is right around 1,800 meters. And uh, we're going to follow the, the ridge along the top. So it's probably, you know, 50 meters of relief across it. Um, whoa, what's that shadow? Fish or sponge? Sponge. sponge. No fish. Oh, that's cool. Let's take a look. Very tall one. Yeah. Can you do a partial in there, Dave, while we fly around this guy? That's great. Thank you. Interesting. It looks like it has kind of a flat backside. Oh. Spatula, perhaps? Trectop, Trectoplura. According to Megan. Mm. Very cool. Go wide, please.
We have a question that came in about the lasers, uh, and they're wondering, you know, they know that they're 10 centimeters apart, but how do you account for objects that are at an angle? Are you able to move the 10, like move it in the other direction, or do you just kind of gauge it from where the lasers are? I think for the most part, what I do is, is uh, make an assessment of whether mm -hmm. you are head on with the, the thing that's being illuminated and, and if you're not, kind of stop paying attention to it. Very cool. Some dead branches here, or maybe closed polyps, and then some of them look predated. Yeah. Or like something happened to them. One of the things we learned from Steve is that it's pretty difficult to determine the age of a coral. I mean, we know that it's when it's this large, it's pretty old, but uh, there's not a great way to to say exactly how old it is without sampling the entire uh, entire organism. Oh, it looks like there's multiples in here. Yeah. Very cool. It's kind of surprising that the fans in the middle are so successful, given that you would you would think that they're the other fans are blocking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if flow is like left to right in this image, and the one on the far right is mm. getting less food than the others. Yeah. Could be, yeah. like a paragorgia of some kind. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a partial as we fly over this colony. That's great. Kind of zoom around here. It's a cool example of how some of the Mental animals like the stars in the Paragorgia like to live there, but not on uh, on the bamboo coral. There's a gorgia in there. There's some good size ones here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 